Cyclones, you ask? I've killed them all. Red, white, black, metal, dead, divine, cosmic, the perfect cyclone, gone, zombies, akus, it, it doesn't matter. I have killed every cyclone in the game. What about the super cosmic cyclone? Yeah, this one. I haven't even tried this one out yet. To be fair, I've only just recently finished Into the Future. I know what that sounds like. It sounds like you're bad. No, I'm just a little bit lazy. There's a lot of treasures I had to get to do Into the Future. I got most of them. I now would be going into the stage with most of the treasures, which might make it a little bit more difficult for us. Okay, this is our lineup so far. We have our meat shields on row one, including Catalyte Cat, our more chunky meat shield for aliens. We also have the Sniper Cat. It's nice having that little like knockback and slow effect now and then. It can screw you over for some units, so use it wisely, I guess. Corrupted Psycho Cat is there to slow down the enemies. This right here is our barrier breaker. Rampaging Yamato. I, I just want to shove this unit in there whenever I can, okay? I like this unit a lot. I'm trying to show it some love. Seafarer Cat is going to be MVP here, most likely. Clutch Freezes, please, will help us easily do the stage, right? And then we have, like, one more unit. And this unit can be, like, any anti-alien uber, right? What are we going to choose here? The, the weird Pokemon-looking things are pretty good for this, right? Use Fart Cloud or Bazzy Bastra. I think Bazzy Bastra might be just like the best unit, the best anti-alien unit, but it's up there. It's pretty good. Time to open up that wormhole. Huh? Spread them wide, Cyclone. Uh -huh. So this is the embodiment of Insomnia, which I could relate to. You can sleep at all. All right, I am leading them a little bit close to my base. I probably shouldn't do that, right? Let's go full charge. Let's get some monies. Let's see what the Cyclone even does first, okay? Okay, so, loves warping. Catalyte Cat does block the warping. Oh, wow, it loves the warping, man. Big fan of warping, eh? Okay, that's fine. And honestly, this is like proving to be very easy so far. We do have like more enemies, which, you know, will most likely die to Bazzy Bastard there. Then there's the Cyclone. All right, super easy. Yeah, I've, you know, defeated the second dimension, but have I conquered the third dimension? No, no, you haven't. No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't done a third dimension either, no. So we have Revenge of the Wormhole, Merciless Mode. That's right. We spread that wormhole wide, and now it wants its revenge. Huh? Um, what? Rarity, only normal and special? It was at this moment he knew. I will not be using the cats that are retired. Retired! Masashi is retired! Retired! He fucked up. This is literally impossible, because I'm the world's dumbest person. So, there is quite a few useful units in the special category, right? So, it's not the end of the world. It's probably what you're thinking, right? Uh... <laughs> mm, uh Okay, what if I told you that your boy banished, or sorry, retired, the majority of good units that are special cats? It's gonna be like one janked up team. We do have old guardian cat at level 42 for whatever fucking reason. We don't need barrier breaker, right? But we do have Shakur old tiger CC just in case. Although little macho cat might be just better, maybe, to break barriers. Is there any barriers to break? Of course, the majority of people would just, you know, bring along awakened Bahama cat as well. That would be a great unit to take here which is why we're not going to. Do we have any like anti-warp units here? I think that might be like the hottest thing. Ultimate bondage cats immune to warp? Why? So is Dogamaru, who we got recently. So we might be in luck here. Saber Alter, uh, I doubt it, but like, I think ultimate bondage cat? People are gonna call me out here because lots of people don't think this unit is very good. Oh, this is... Should we even do this? We need this, right? Sumo is also gonna be a good one, right? Is Gato worth it? Let me just upgrade uh, Dogamaro. It's right now level one, which is kind of tragic. It's pretty bad. Let's make it at least like, I don't know, level 30? Because apparently his third form is good. Let's make it level, level 35, maybe? Alright, let's um, let's give it a go. So the issue here is everyone's gonna use Bahamut Cat to beat the stage pretty flawlessly, right? For me, it's, it's not gonna happen. 
we want to kill this dog when it, it, it approaches here. So let's just do like this, 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 and this. And then we start spamming these. And then maybe like this one, and then maybe this one as well. And then we start going. We go into town here. Um, oh, we're so dead. I'm gonna try and spam a dog Amaro as well. Hopefully it will live. All right, and I'm gonna keep on spamming meat shields. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I don't have enough money. Everyone's getting warped back. No one can do anything. Maybe like some more um, more bondage cats might work. It's going, oh, we, we killed all of stuff. It's going well. He's not like killing anything. He's just simply warping them back so they don't do anything, right? Okay, I don't feel too bad about what's happening right now. This kind of seems good, right? Am I wrong here? This is working! And occasionally dancing cats getting some surge attacks off, which is huge for us. Some bondage cats on the go. I don't know if they're doing much. Okay, he's dead. This was great. This was fine. This worked. This was so easy. I don't know why I was worrying so much. Also, I've never seen Dogamaru's second form before. I really like it a lot. It's being catified. Look at this. HD expensive unit here. This, I think this one cost me real money. Fun facts. This one costs real money. And it does nothing. It just spins around. I think it gives you a combo. Why is it so HD? That of course wasn't the main challenge because we have to do the rack of the wormhole merciless mode. And this should be the hardest one. I've been warned that without all the treasures, this one seems almost impossible. So I might be using a few more Ubers than the, the average player. Just a little warning here, okay? Cause we might have to like compensate. But when we go in here, we're gonna see what happens first. I wanna see what I'm dealing with, and then we're gonna change our lineup appropriately to tackle what's going on. One squirrel. Does, <laughs> doesn't seem too bad. Stop, stop, stop that. More squirrels. I'm hoping the squirrels kill my little tanks here. My little meat shields, they're not really tanks. So I want to save up for as much money as possible here. We got a working cat pretty high up. And then we have an otter. Now the otter, I don't think it's too much of an issue here. I don't really have anything for it, mind you. I have literally like nothing for it. I don't have like a good DPS. Seafarer is like not the worst DPS unit ever. So a lot of traitless enemies so far. Huh, you know what? Let's, let's summon you. Cause he's gonna do some damage here. He's not, you know, he's, he's anti-alien, but like this, this could still work, right? The little sniper cat, I'm kind of like worried about the, uh, the amounting otters. And we're, we're just gonna chill here. Maybe we can stack some, uh, some good units, right? Get some more seafarer cats out there before the time starts. Maybe even some psychos. Because he's not doing much damage either, right? Okay, he's finally dead. We're gonna hit the base. When we hit the base, it's probably when, uh, Bane is gonna approach us. So we could probably, like, stall for money next time, right? I've already, like, thrown this in the bin, man. This, this, this is gone. This is not gonna work out. Alright, here they are with, like, it's- Oh, it's Papa and, like, children. That's cute. Uh, we will kill you all. You will all die. What the hell are you doing here as an anteater to the far left? What's he, Professor B, Professor A, Master A? God damn it, man. Some kind of like teacher, teacher C. Uh, whenever we kill a mini cyclone as well, it does seem like another one pops out the base. I could be wrong. Let me just check that theory out. Uh, hold up. Uh, as soon as we kill one more, I can I can confirm that. Okay, we killed one. Nothing's coming out. Okay, we're good. One po okay, one came out. Maybe that was circumstantial. Maybe that was just, you know, it happened to pop out at the exact same time twice in a row. I mean, this is a pretty good like stalemate here. We don't have anything for you. When did we lose the Bazzy Bastard? We've only got one now. We had two beforehand. What happens? Who did this to you? Oh, he's dead. He's, he's dead. <laughs> What happened? So the, the little mini cyclones, I think they, they are timed. They come out every so often. Uh, wow, they're, they're coming up a lot more frequent now than beforehand. And uh, the, man, they're, they're really pushing, aren't they? They really do be pushing. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do that. <laughs> oh, we're dead. <laughs> okay, all right. How, how much damage? How close? 65%? That's crazy. I thought we were doing a lot more than that. Okay, so his name's 
Professor A, by the way, in case you guys are stupid, unlike me. Teacher C, uh, hear me out. Golfer cats, I think would be a great unit here. And I'm gonna try out Kronos. I feel like a cyclone that isn't moving or doing anything is so vulnerable to attacks. The problem is keeping her alive, keeping them back. We might need like more knockback. Nothing to see here, just, just farming as much money as possible. Okay, so we have a sniper out there, one Kronos and an otter. And the plan is just to farm him for as much money as possible. Yep, he's dead, Never mind. All right, let's summon everything again. Uh, good luck me. She did get warped back there, I'm gonna lie to you. That's, uh, that's rough. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, she's dead. Kronos is dead instantly. That's great. <laughs> that's fantastic. Whoa! <laughs> Yay! Yahoo! Oh, they get warped forwards. That's interesting. What the hell's going on here? Okay, maybe we can save up for like more money. Yo, how is how does warp even work? Did they always get warped forwards last time? I feel like that wasn't a thing, and now it is a thing, and now I'm, I'm kind of confused here. We have like another Chronos here. Don't worry about it. So with Chronos, we should hopefully just be able to build up a bit more of an army, do a lot more damage as well. Fingers crossed. I've summoned Bazzy Bastard now. He's gonna get some kills. We're gonna summon like some surfer cats, some seafarer cats even. Uh, wow, uh, I think Cronus is- no, he's- she's not dead, she just got teleported backwards. It's over. It's very much over. Yeah, okay, whatever. What, whatever, man. Okay. That went so badly. We did worse. We did worse with a lineup we have literally molded to defeat the stage with. Um, bro, I'm thinking Lufalan, right? Maybe he gets like a really good crit and then we go zoom zoom. This is three Ubers though, which feels a little bit cheeky. So then I'm like, okay, take out Pazzy Baster, you're crazy. But I was thinking if they're gonna warp my units back anyway, doesn't Bullet Train Cat go hard? Doesn't he like go in there, do damage and then gets warped back? And then as soon as he gets like, as soon as he reappears, he goes right back in there and do damage again. Like, it keeps resetting his, um, his attack animation, so he just pops off. Is that not how it works? With Brellos, when I'm facing Brellos, that's exactly how it works, right? You knock them back, they, they go in with a charge again. Brellos are essentially maglevs, in my eyes, okay? I don't see a difference. Let's go in there. I think that this is gonna be really good. I think maglev might pop off. I think I actually um, unlocked uh, a secret part of my brain and figured out the true secret of the stage, which is maglev. Let's do one right now. This can't possibly go. Don't. Squirrel, please. What squirrel? Squirrel! Squirrel! Oh, thank God. This is actually great. Maglev is doing fantastic here. I guess the plan is to. I mean, it, they're going. They're going ham in there. They're, they're like freezing them and stuff. Let's send them some support then. Let's, let's go. Let's go with like Luga straight away. See if we can get some like good snipes here. This might be a little bit too aggressive, honestly. So Maglev's actually really helped us get a lot more money than usual. I'm not gonna lie to you. We haven't had any like lucky crits so far from Lufaland. I'm not gonna lie to you either. And he's a little bit too far forwards for my liking too. So he might die here. He hasn't a single crit. I'm really hoping. Man, no, he's he's gone. He got warped away, man. Maybe the uh, the one that returns can do a crit for once. Maybe perhaps. I don't know. There it is. It's a crit. It's a kill. If Lufalan can just hit the right target, if Lufalan can hit the the professor rate, I mean, okay, I don't want to say anything. I'm scared of like jinxing myself here, but it's going pretty well. All right, there I said it, there I said it. I've doomed us all, man. And we've almost like, we've killed all the minis. I'm gonna summon like another Kronos. I think that's gonna be huge for us, right? If they're out of sync, we're like freezing a lot. Yo, we've killed the Professor A. It's over. How do we lose this now? With uh, the large tongue boy removed from my wormhole, we're actually fine now. I know what I said. He's still not dead. What is your deal, bro? Die. It's over for you. You've lost! Okay, thank you, Lufalan. He finally got that crit on the Cyclone. It's done. I told you, I can beat any Cyclone. There isn't a single Cyclone out there that I haven't done yet, I think.
Unless it's some kind of like, I don't know, like a, a relic cyclone or something. Or bollocks. There's a relic cyclone here. There it is, my new shiny medal for Dimensional Rift. Uh, even though we did like the harder version. So we got Bolly Cat from the second dimension. Yo, I've never seen this unit before. Bolly Cat, feared as the queen of community center. Her spikes routinely knock out her rivals unconscious. Long range attacks might unleash a critical. Y yo, a, a metal enemy killer for me? You should not. Evolves into such a cool design, by the way. But <laughs> look at his little legs go. <laughs> Ballet cats. Prima Donna called the Rose of Repertory. 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 It's repertory, guys. Prima Donna called the Rose of Repertory. Source of disguise lands like a javelin. Long range attacks might unleash a critical strike. Much like Volley Cat over here. And then finally, Curry Cats. Again, those legs going, man. Anyways, Curry Cat, masterful chef called the Prince of Spices. Metal enemies can't stand the powerful flavor. Long range attacks might unleash a critical. Yo also slows down the metal enemies. Is Curry Cat good? I've never seen this unit before. Like ever. I've never seen any of these units before in my life. They probably aren't good. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what lineup you use to beat the stage or if this video helped you in any kind of way. I stream Battle Cats every single Saturday. Go check it out. And everybody.